What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. I'm here in Stewart, Florida by myself right now. I'm riding solo. I'm currently putting my GoPro on my mask because I'm going to get in and swim right over here and try to shoot me something to eat. Maybe a barracuda, maybe a sheep's head. I don't really know what I'm going to get. And when I'm done, I'm going to go right around the corner out of the wind and I'm going to cook me an awesome fish meal all by myself. Kelly and her brothers down in Isla Mirada with Nick Stanzik's wife, Sassy Sarah, filming a lobster video today. And the reports that they're giving me is the water is beyond beautiful, which is the exact opposite of what it is here today because right now they're dredging out at the mouth of the St. Lucie mm. Inlet. I call it the Stewart Inlet, but it's actually called the St. Lucie Inlet. I'm getting some gloves. I've got my little spear gun that Richard Harris from South Georgia gave me. This is just an AB Biller. Super cheap, super easy. No strings attached to the shaft itself. It's what we call free shafting. So when the shaft shoots out, I just swim over and grab it. If I shoot a fish too big, he might end up taking it. So I'm gonna put my dive flag up. I'm gonna get completely suited up and I'm gonna swim right over here, which I'll show you in a second. That's a pretty cool little trick. I put my Maui gems over the GoPro and give you guys a bird's eye view of what we see with polarized glasses on. Now the water looks really, really clear, but it's actually not. It's actually pretty milky. And that's from the dredging out at the mouth of the inlet. But I think I'll still be able to get dinner. Always make sure you got your dive flag up, your power poles down, your motor turned off, get all your gear right and be safe because this definitely can be a dangerous sport. So right here is the big basin in Stewart. There's tons of little reef sharks and spinner sharks that live out there. And not that they're known to bite, but they definitely can. Always spit in your mask or use some anti-fog and that will help. Us that have been doing it forever, just use some spit. Got my Cressy fins on. This water's gonna be cold. I've got my 3.5 mil wetsuit on because the water is probably about 75 degrees and for us Floridians that's freezing cold Now you might say that 75 degrees is hot, but when it's 80 degrees outside 75 degree water feels like ice water gonna be cold so I'm actually gonna switch over to this GoPro and this GoPro and show you all what it looks like underwater all right y'all don't panic we're gonna get back to that awesome video in just a second but first I got to tell you a little bit about liquid IV now I've been drinking their hydration multipliers for months now and I can promise you they're a big help when we're out fishing hunting and just living everyday life they have lemon lime and they also have tangerine which has immune support vitamin c whale immune and zinc but there's even more to it than that liquid iv is an electrolyte drink mix perfect for staying hydrated if you want to try hydration multiplier liquid iv is offering free samples sent right to your doorstep check out the link in the description below I'm also sharing 25% off for anyone who's already a fan of Liquid IV. Use my code, BLUEGABE. Thank you. 
is ripping. Down. I'm out of breath. We got dinner, y'all. We got dinner. never want to free shaft barracudas for that reason they will often get away from you we got them though now we can go cook an awesome fish sandwich right around the corner out of the wind yes sir that was tough Whew. the wind and the currents ripping One barracuda down. Oh. All right, we're in a quiet place now. Y'all check out those teeth. Look at that. I just pulled up here to a mangrove island where we're out of the wind and I can actually show you guys what I'm gonna do with this awesome, awesome fish. So many people underestimate how good barracuda is. And it can be so amazing. It's literally such a perfect white fleshy meat fish, just like snapper, grouper, anything like that. And anytime I can shoot one, if y'all follow along, you already know that, I'm gonna eat one because they are amazing. Certain places around the world, you can't eat them because of cigatera, like the Bahamas, some places in the Keys, they don't eat them. But me, I'm eating them. I gotta get out of this thing though. Holy moly. Don't be making fun of the man bod. The dad bought I me. Mean. Oh, I don't know if I could have done it without that wetsuit. It was cold, but when I mean to tell you that current was really, really bad. When I shot the fish, I didn't think I was going to be able to find him. I was pretty for certain I was going to find my shaft eventually, but I thought that the fish would have already been off. But I swam like heck, stood up one time, looked around, couldn't find him, stuck my head back in the water and was able to see a dust trail, which actually led me to him. I shot him right in the head. They can swim a pretty good ways, but they can't go that far once you shoot them in the old noggin. I love it when a plan goes together. It's the end of March. Kelly and I have been going so hard 
just today she sent me a text and a picture of her thumbnail for her next lobster video they don't come any prettier than her guys i just hate to tell you they don't come any prettier than her and that picture she took down there in the keys was beautiful so real quick i'm going to grab my knives my glove and i'm going to get to hacking on this barracuda because right here on the beach i'm going to cook them i'm going to make an awesome meal and y'all are right here with me and i'm so thankful to that so you already know i'm going to use my glove got my new danko these are awesome new fish colors make a slit right here i just did it come right down the backbone and take your time you don't want to waste any meat as you can see that fish just flopped that's his nerves that's not him still alive i already made sure he was expired now i wish i could show you a over the shoulder shot but i just can't because i'm by myself take your time right here and if he falls over in the water no big deal because i'm going to throw him in there anyways Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful meat right there. Take skin just like so. This new knife is crazy sharp. Now with the barracuda, I'm not holding it down on the flesh as hard as I would be some fish because I don't want the bloodline that's on the backside of his flay. See how I have very little bloodline, but there's still a quite a bit on the flay. That's why I do that. Look at that, one beautiful chunk. I'm gonna flip him over and do the rest. Now, with these knives, you can just come right down through the rib bone, rib cage, just like so. And do it just like that as well. Look at that. God, what a beautiful fish. It's so weird because I'm used to having Kelly around me so I can just point it wherever I want and I know the camera will be there but right now I'm by myself when you cut the rib bones out you just sort of get right under them just like so hold your knife at an angle and this new knife cuts through them like butter more of a push and pull than to just push with the knife very little bloodline all right so as you all can see I've got my little multi burner from Seth McGinn just a little cooktop that's all you got to do to turn it on and here I've got some butter uh, onion some bread some lettuce some plates got my barracuda some Lowry salt some can cooker original Creole Oh yeah, and use non-salted butter. My buddy Stale Cracker on TikToks who taught me to use unsalted butter. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Gonna hit it with that Lowry. Gotta turn this thing down on low or it will get hot on you quick. This little cooker is great for camping. Heck, I use it at my house sometimes. Look at that. Man, this is going to be good. Can y'all smell that? Add a little bit more butter. Now, anytime you're cooking fish, if you have a chance to let the fish settle, like put it in the refrigerator overnight, it will be much better. It sort of loosens up a little bit. The muscles have time to relax and it's just all around better. Man, if y'all could only smell that. It smells so good. This little cooktop, so easy to clean too. I believe that's enough butter for now. You already know we can't have a fish sandwich without some onions. So I brought me a little Vidalia. Put that right there. 
there's an airport not far from where I'm at. These planes keep flying over one after another. I will be the first one to admit though that having Kelly Young here makes a world of difference. And just to say, <laughs> that pepper on that can cooker original has got a little bit of a bite to it. And just the same, I try my hardest to film a lot of her videos too. So it's so so it's sort of a give give. If I can turn that off. Got me a little hoagie roll from Winn Dixie. Put that bad boy open right there. Got an avocado. Open that bad boy up just like that. Chunk that over in the water because that is biodegradable. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I just dropped a piece between my legs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's cooking with peanut oil right there see what this fish looks like oh it's definitely done oh yeah that's gonna be so good take this knife cut my onions yeah look at that sandwich avocado onions some fresh barracuda cooked right here on the beach not 200 yards from where I speared it. We've got some sweet Thai red chili sauce. Kind of just drizzle some of that on there, just like this. It does not get any better than that, you guys. It can't get any better than that. Can't get any fresher. Can't get any more beautiful. But first, I need to thank the good Lord that created this barracuda, me and you. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for all the wonderful things you give me and every other person on this planet. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross to forgive us of our sins. Watch over us, guide us, and just thank you for being you. Amen. Hey, look here, folks at home. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. That's a masterpiece right there. I mean, the fish itself, you don't even need to put it on a sandwich. Fresh. You guys and gals and kids, get you a little cooker like this. Get a canoe, ride your bike, walk, get in your truck, get on your yacht. Come to a beautiful place like this catch something, a sheep's head, a sand perch, a snook, barracuda, bring it up here and cook it. You will never feel the raw power of mother nature, besides in like a hurricane or tornado or tsunami, more than you will when you connect to it like this. I got in the ocean, I got something out, I cooked it and, eat it, and I'm eating it. It don't get no better. It's just like hunting. That's why we hunt. It's not to kill an animal, it's to go out and experience what our ancestors did. And other than having this fancy cooktop and all these utensils, this is what our ancestors did. And this is why I love to do it. Thankfully, my parents taught it to me and I'm teaching it to my kids now. If you're new to my channel, make sure you go back and check out my library. I have hundreds of videos like this all around the world. And I'm sure if you don't really care for this one, you'll find one that you do like because there's so many different kinds. Thanks for watching though. Thanks for all the positive comments, all the positive love. Thanks for being you guys and thanks for you guys watching me. Right now though, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.